Welcome to Mechanical Tutorials. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. So before starting FE analysis, we should understand basics about material properties and material types. So how do we select material? There are n number of materials in the market like steel, plastics, wood, cork, glass, ceramic, rubber, copper. How do we select different materials for different components? So we, for that we have to understand about some of the material properties. And this is about stress strain curve. So the, the linear slope is where the material doesn't deform at all. So there is a uniform thickness on the material cross section. So when it reaches tensile yield strength or simply yield strength, it start deforming. So yield strength is nothing but maximum stress where a material start deforming permanently. That is called plastic deformation and it is measured in Newton per meter square or Pascals or we can use PSI also. Next is ultimate tensile strength or simply ultimate strength or tensile strength. It is called UTS where the necking of the component takes place. So tensile strength is a maximum stress at which material start failing or breaking. So there is a slowly breaking of this component and finally it fractures. So usually we will consider where there is no plastic deformation. So the stress at which where there is no plastic deformation that is tensile strength or tensile yield strength. So in uh, material properties when we apply material to any component we have to consider at least four factors that is elastic modulus. This elastic modulus is, is sometimes called Young's modulus that is the slope of this stress strain curve. So this gives the rigidity or stretching or bending of the component. So how rigid is the component it defines. Next Poisson ratio I am going to explain in the next slide. Mass density. The density will gives us the idea about uh, approximate weight of the component. So for same strength we can we can have different density and that results in weight of the component. Sometimes weight of the component is very much important while designing aircrafts or automobiles. So this is very much important. Next uh, property is yield strength. I have already explained. So the yield strength is maximum strength at which the material start deforming. So these four are important. So in Poisson ratio, Poisson ratio have the range of 0 to 0.5. So cork is having 0, glass is having 0.05 to 0 0.01, rubber is having 0 0.045 to 0.5. So rubber is having the maximum value 0.5. So if any value is near to 0 is brittle in nature and any value which is near to 0.5 is elastic in nature. So it works like a rubber. So based on that, based on our application, we can select the material. So poison ratio is very much important while selecting the material. Sometimes we design very good product with material, good material but suddenly it fractures because of brittleness. So poison ratio is very less for this component. So we have to be very much careful. So steel is having 0.27 to 0.3, aluminum is having 0.33, cast iron is 0 0.2 to 0.3. See cast iron is very near, very much near to glass. So it is brittle in nature. Some um, Common metals is having 0.25 to 0.4, brass is having 0.33, copper and uh, copper is having 0.285. So 
So let's see these different materials. Steel is having 0 0.272, 0 0.3. Plastics are having 0 0.32, 0 0.36. 0 0.16 uh, is having wood and cork is having 0. Glass is having 0 0.05 to 0.1. Ceramic is 0 0.25. See 0 0.25 is very near, very much near to 0. So it is brittle in nature. Cork also is brittle in nature. Rubber is having 0.5. It is elastic in nature. And uh, plastics and steel are lying between brittle material and uh, elastic material. Now copper is having 0.285. So poison ratio plays a major role while selecting a material. So when we understand different components while doing the analysis, we will get more idea on this material properties and selection of material. So let's go to the example. Hi, today I am going to explain about L bracket FEA analysis. So this L bracket is mostly used for mounting artwork frames. So this is the frame mounted on the wall and the L bracket is going to place on the bottom side. So I am an artist. This painting is done by me. See here. This is the painting with frame and these two L brackets are placed at the bottom. So let's see how it's mounted on the wall. See these are mounted with flat head screws. So this would be the fixed supports and load is applied on this. So depending on the number of L brackets, we have to apply the load for FEA analysis. So this is the L bracket. Load is going to apply on this and these are the fixed supports. So initially we have to create model, then we have to create 3D mesh model, then we have to do the run the FE analysis. And uh, this is the L bracket dimensions. Show you this link in the description, you can download from this. So initial condition. So as per manufacturer, so it can take load up to 500 kg that is 4903 newtons. So initial case, I am going to show you for two brackets. If two brackets are placed on the wall and the frame is mounted on two brackets. And what if one additional bracket is added, then what are what is going to happen with the stresses? So I am going to show you two conditions, one with two brackets and other with three brackets. So these are the results. So I am going to explain. So initially we have to create the 3D CAD model. We have to create 3D mesh model. Then we have to run the FE analysis. So these are the dimensions. So in first case, I am going to apply 2451 Newtons. That is 250 kg. So this is the bracket. So we have to go to study advisor concern about deformation and stresses. So create static study. Here so I have applied 1020 steel that is mild steel. If you want we can change the material from here. Now I am going to apply fixture. So add fixture. So 
so like this paper holes say ok next we have to apply load so load is 2451 newtons add load Two four five one. Say okay. So initially we have to create mesh. So keep it as it is. Don't change the mesh. Say okay. So we can check the mesh size. It is 3.75. So, if you want final results, we can reduce the size. And once again, we have to go to create mesh and we have to run the results. So we can see the stresses developed here. Now we can go to the definition. And we can keep true scale. Now let's see the results. See here it is 7.89879. So 787 megapascals. See we can see maximum stresses developed at this location. So bottom screw location and some stresses are developed at the is band radius and displacement is 1 mm so in first condition seven eight seven megapascal and displacement is 1 mm So here let's see the factor of safety. So tensile in strength of the material is 620 megapascals and one mass stress is 787. So when we divide by 620 by 787 we are getting 0.7 so which is less than 1. So there is a possibility of deformation and there is a possibility of failure. So in next condition we are adding one more bracket. So once we add the one more bracket so the load is divided into three parts that is 500 kg is divided into three parts it is 166 kg so when we convert into newtons it is 1627 so in second condition let us see how to apply this load so edit definition here One sixty six kg is one six two seven newtons. One six two seven. So we have to run mesh and run the analysis. So this error, whatever result is there. 
it goes away. So here we can see the stress. It is 523 in second condition. So 523 megapascals. Six point six. So point six mm is the displacement. So when we check the analysis, it is one point one eight. So now this factor of safety increased by one point one eight. So that's how. So one point one eight is also is not recommended. So we have to add one more L bracket to increase the factor of safety. So that's how we do the analysis. So when we mount a frame, so how many brackets are required if it is 500 kg? Based on that, we have to increase the number of L brackets. So this is about FA analysis of L bracket. With the two conditions, one with the two L brackets, other with three L brackets. Thank you.